Hi, I'm Mark with Granite Concepts. Now that we've talked to you about how easy it is to take care of your granite countertops, I'd like to talk to you about the, some things not to use in your, in your kitchen, um, some products and cleaners that may be harmful to the surface of your stone. Uh, things like Comet, Ajax, uh, bleach, and straight vinegar are too acidic and too basic for uh, cleaning in your kitchen. Uh, if you do have uh, something like chicken juice or things like that on your countertop, you can always use Clorox wipes, but straight bleach out of the bottle will definitely hurt your countertops. Comet and Ajax are too abrasive for the surface and ca can cause etching uh, of your stone. Uh, now I'll move into things such as cutting boards and um, hot pads uh, to use in your kitchen. These are always things that should be present in your kitchen. You should always use them whenever you're cutting up anything in your kitchen. Um, always use a cutting board. You won't necessarily scratch the surface of your stone, but you will dull your knife. Um, and over time, if you do, do this in the same spot over and over again, you may cause uh, some etching in your surface. Uh, anytime that you're taking a boiling pot of water or any thick bottom pan off of your stove, always set it on a hot pad so that you don't possibly, over time, cause an issue with the surface of your stone. Now that I've talked to you about how to maintain your countertops and some do's and don'ts, I'd like to talk to you about long-term care. Uh, usually we like to have our customers reseal or us come and reseal your countertops about every eight to 10 years. Be sure your counters are clean and you have removed any hard water deposits prior to sealing. It's a simple process. Um, the sealer is available at most hardware stores and it's something that you can do at home or you can give us a call and we'll come out and take care of it. It's very simple. Um, this is a sealer that we use. Uh, you can find it at Home Depot and um, you can buy it in smaller quantities as well. It's a simple process, you just pour the sealer onto the countertop and you wipe it around coating the surface evenly and then wipe it off with a dry paper towel and continue to wipe it off with a dry paper towel until there's no residue left on the paper towel. And that is the process of resealing your countertops. And it is really as simple as that. As I mentioned before, in this area we have hard water deposits and it can create issues in our sink area and faucet area. Uh, what I'd like to show you is a way to take care of this, um, this stubborn hard water deposits. It's very simple. It takes a little bit of elbow grease and some, a straight razor and some 4 aught steel wool. I'm just going to take the razor blade nice and flat on the surface and scrape the stone and as you can see the hard water deposits are scraping right off of the stone. And you can tell when you start to get hard water deposits by the stone, the stone starts to get dull looking and it doesn't have that shine and no matter how much you wipe it with the cloth it doesn't get shiny and that means that you have a hard water deposit building up on the surface of your stone. As you can see just a little bit of work and I've gotten this area all the way free and clear of any hard water deposits. If there's any residual um, striations or anything left, the 4 aught steel wool will get those off very easily. Very simple process, easy for you to take care of at home. Uh, we also can come out and take care of this if we're coming out to seal your countertops or take care of any other issues that you may have.